Texas A&M University Texarkana's Aquila Review presents Poem by Poet, the program that shares and promotes work from local and regional poets in the four states region. I'm Brian Billings, your host. Our featured poet for this episode is Jeff Brainerd. Although he earned an M.A. in creative writing at San Francisco State University, Mr. Brainerd became, and retired as, an architect. He did have a short academic career teaching composition and poetry at the same place where he studied architecture, California State Polytechnic University. In 2010, he moved to Shreveport from the Bay Area in California to be near his oldest son and his family. At long last, he has time to read and write. Lynx by Jeff Brainerd Stepdad thumped the nearest pail now and then, his amateur eye lamenting the late wind. Every time he swung, he strained his ears, puffing in his fat to see the little ball flutter through the ladies' turf. Pouting with conviction, he churned through the noon sun till the dew had all burnt off and the grass no longer stuck to our clubs. Mother watched from the car and rubbed her knees and the white mounds about her toes, thinking of father and of days that went faster. A winking man he was. He'd have set the town on fire if he thought the town would laugh or at least grant him the luck of a hopeless son. Just the kind of man you hear years later got run over by a truck. Stepdad brought Mom a cardboard cup of coffee each time he bought another basketful of balls. I called him a lazy Buddha and whacked away a pile of teas to every one of his. Oh, he was all right. He had built half of everything there was to build, from soup gardens to telescopes, and the green coop that Father'd left he dismantled for a tractor to putt about the yard and sow his peas. Mother's hopes were that her legs would go completely, that people would care for her who didn't care for her in some white place not unlike the Dakotas, where father fell asleep on the ice fishing minnows, and they had to chip him out next day with iron mallets. The grass was wet when we left again, and there were as many empty coffee cups as iron baskets. Mother put her arm around my shoulders as the ball boy cursed us for the divots, and shoved off swinging his rake to gather up our Sunday putts. Lynx arises from Mr. Brainerd's personal history. His family moved to California from Devil's Lake, North Dakota, just before he was born. His father was killed in an automobile accident when he was five. His mother was injured badly and was in a coma for several weeks before regaining consciousness. She immediately asked the poet's older sister to verify that her husband was dead. She had been eavesdropping from the bed. The stepfather in the poem was an old friend of the poet's father, who reunited with the poet's mother many years after the aforementioned accident. Lynx is the title poem for a book Mr. Brainerd is submitting for the Bergman Prize. The poem is one that he wrote during college. After reading it, his poetry professor at the time dropped it into his lap and told him he should take himself off and write poetry. Lately, Mr. Brainerd has been reading more poetry than writing it. He is looking for poetry that is exciting both in content and style. This summer, he plans to write a poem about Louis-Antoine Juchereau de Saint-Denis, an important founder of Natchitoches. History, Mr. Brainerd believes, can be an exciting subject for poetry. Thank you for listening to Poem by Poet, recorded and edited by Brian C. Billings, who also composed the music for this program. For more information about this program, or Aquila Review, please contact Brian C. Billings by email at bbillings at tamut.edu or by phone at 903-223-3022. Until next time, keep today's poem in your heart.